Bernoulli's equation is the basic equation that governs the motion of fluids. In this video we are going to discuss about Bernoulli's equation for non-viscous and incompressible, ideal fluids. We shall derive the Bernoulli equation for such fluids. For this purpose we have an animated setup here. We have a pipe in which fluid is flowing. The pipe has been cut in a section to make visible fluid inside it. The fluid is flowing from left sided lower end to right sided higher end of the pipe, the density of fluid is, rho. The left sided end of pipe is height, h1 from ground, cross sectional area, a, 1. Pressure of fluid at this end, is, p1 and velocity is, v1. And, at, the other end of pipe same quantities are, h2, a, 2, p2, and, V2. At a certain time, T, a section of fluid has a position between A and B. And in a small amount of time interval, del T, this section has moved forward to a new position, A dash and B dash. From its initial position, A and a fluid moves to a distance, del x1, and there, the end of the fluid moves to a distance, del x2. Sections, A, A, dash, and, B, B, dash, are green colored. As the fluid is incompressible, so the volumes of these two sections must be equal. And we call this volume, del V for both sections. Volume of first section, a 1, del x1 must be equal to the volume of second section, a 2, del x2. As the density rho of fluid is constant, so the mass, del m equals to rho dot del v, is also same for both sections. Now, to relate quantities like pressure, velocity, height, at initial and final position, we shall apply the principle of conservation of energy to the fluid as it moves from a B to a dash B dash. We apply energy conservation principle in the form of work kinetic energy theorem, which states that work done on a system by external forces is equal to change in its kinetic energy. Because two forces are acting on the fluid section, one is force due to pressure and the second is gravitational force. So the net work on the fluid will be sum of works done by these two forces separately. Now, we shall calculate these three terms one by one, and put them back in equation one. First, we calculate work done by pressure difference. As P1 and P2 pressures are present at both ends of fluid section, so the WP equals to WP1 plus WP2. As, work is force multiply displacement, so, here negative sign because, del x2 is in the negative direction of p2. As, the force is pressure multiply cross sectional area. And we know that, a 1 del x1 is equals a 2 del x2, which is volume of displaced section del v. This is final expression for wp, and, we call it equation 2. Secondly, we calculate work done by gravitational force. Work done by gravitational force on system always equals negative change in its potential energy. As, the potential energy of section A dash B remains same. So the net change in potential energy results from endpoints A, A dash, and B, B dash. Put the value of potential energy M, G, H. As mass del M is rho dot del V. This is final expression for W, G, and, we call it equation 3. And now, we calculate change in kinetic energy of fluid section. Fluid has different velocities v1, and, 
V2 at both ends. Change in kinetic energy is difference of final kinetic energy and initial kinetic energy. As the kinetic energy of fluid between the section at dash B does not change. So, the net change in kinetic energy results from difference of velocities at end points A, a dash, and B, B dash. Put the value of kinetic energy half mv square. And, mass del m is rho dot del v. This is final expression for del k, and, we call it equation 4. Now, we have all three terms, wp, wg, and, del k. So, we put all terms that we have calculated, just now one by one in this equation. After, dividing by del v, and, rearrange terms in this equation, we can see that, the term, p plus rho g h plus half m v square, is constant everywhere in the fluid. And this is so called Bernoulli equation. This constant quantity has dimensions of energy per unit volume, or, energy density. So, we can say that total energy density of the fluid remains constant everywhere. Thanks for watching our video. For watching more videos like this, make sure that you have subscribed our channel, Learning License. Thanks.